You know what these are. They're steamed clams, a New England delicacy. Here in Massachusetts, we call them steamers, and they're delicious. Compared to those little New England clams, this one's a monster. It weighs more than a pound. But imagine clams even bigger than this. I heard about giant killer clams this big across. So I came here to an island in Micronesia, right in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. And I'm gonna go look for these killer clams. The question is, why do they call them killer clams? Do they eat people? Do they grab you by the foot? Well, I don't know, so we're gonna try to find out. I've come to the middle of the Pacific Ocean to find a giant clam, more specifically known as the Tridacna clam. In the Marshall Islands, people have been eating Tridacna clams for thousands of years. A mature Tridacna can feed quite a few people. Except for being a bit heavy, hunting these clams isn't very hard. It's not like they can get away. So they've been over-harvested in most of the Pacific, and finding them these days is not an easy task. I set out to a secret place in the Marshall Islands where there's supposed to be some giant clams. Well, this is the spot, so I guess now it's time to go look for some killer clams. When I hit the water, I start to search for the clam. The reef is beautiful with healthy coral everywhere. This is a perfect place for a tridacna. All I have to do is look around. At last I see a tridacna clam. It's grown into the reef, so it's a little hard to see. It responds to my hand movements. That's because it's sensitive to light, and when my hand casts a shadow on it, the clam retracts to protect itself. This is why people thought they were dangerous. Could a clam this large actually grab my hand? Well, let's find out. I put my hand into the clam, and it closes. But the clam can't actually close all the way. See, all my fingers are still there. So much for the killer clam. Tridacna clams live in shallow sunlit waters. This is no coincidence because they're solar powered. The clams have symbiotic algae in their tissue. The algae absorbs the energy from the sun and turns it into energy that it shares with the clam. Without the sun and the algae to turn it into energy, the clam would die. Clams also feed on plankton in the water. They have two openings called siphons. The clam slurps up water through the in-current siphon and filters the water through a sieve, extracting the plankton. Then the water comes back out through the ex-current siphon. The giant clam can filter hundreds of gallons of water every day with this method. Unfortunately, there isn't much plankton in clear tropical water. That's why the clams need the algae. These reefs would be teeming with giant clams except for the fact that they taste good, so they've been overfished. Here on the island of Koshrai, overfishing of giant clams in the past has left the reefs depleted of these incredible animals. So the solution is a clam farm. Koshrai is known for having one of the world's few Tridacna clam farms. Here, they raise hundreds of clams both for food and to release into the wild. A dozen large tanks have clams of different sizes soaking up the tropical sun. Seawater is pumped in from the ocean. These clams make their own food from sunlight, just like plants. All they need is a circulating water supply 
and time to grow. As you might expect, they don't grow very fast. These little clams in this tank are babies by clam standards. They're only two inches long and 11 months old. But just to get an idea how long it takes for one of these clams to grow, if we look in the next tank, this tank has maybe five pounders. And these guys, oh, he's got me. Oh, just kidding. <clears throat> these guys are seven years old. It's pretty big, but when you think about it, it takes seven years for a clam to get this big. You can see why if you overfish these, it takes a long time for them to come back. Put them down here. So if a five pound clam takes seven years to grow, we can only imagine how old this clam is. This 100 pound tridacna might easily be more than 50 years old. It's three feet across. Experts say that they may live for a hundred or more years. So they're old clams and they're big clams, but they're certainly not killer clams. They sit on the bottom and collect sunlight. They're about as dangerous as sponges, but that's a story for another day.